<laughs> hey guys, this is Celsus, the Profane Prophet. I'm here to do a beginner's guide on magic for everyone. <laughs> Literally a beginner's. I'm still only level 5, so it's not going to be an advanced one. I'll come back and do an advanced one. But, get that aside, uh, we'll go ahead and start up. So, okay. The basic things about magic is... When you put one point into, it makes a spell. So... The higher you go, the more potency you have. There's trees that you can maximize your potency per, which is better to use. Because magic is really strong in this game. But when you want to make it stronger, it's not going to change the spell right here. It will change it after it gets to like potency level 100 to the next level, but it's still the same thing. Fine. But, say... I mean, even if you max this out, it has to go over 100 points before it'll do anything to it again. But there's a 50% limit. As soon as you do this, though, you hit over that cap and it turns into Unicast. Unicast pretty much is as it says down at the bottom, but just to spell it out, it has a random chance of casting either one of these spells. Now... You can get away with doing this if you want to go, say, 50 with each thing. Well, close to 50 at least. You can put in, or with each spell, not thing. You can put in, say, 50, 49, but once you go over, it goes back to Unicast. Now, if you want to use Unicast, that's fine. But the problem with Unicast is not everything's always... You know weak against fire not everything's always weak against lightning so you could end up helping it but the next thing these things or the next thing to teach you about this is well I'm sorry let me finish that thought um, the 50% as long as you don't go over 50% of both or well 100 we'll say a hundred spell level with both of them, you'll stay in the same parameter and get the most out of your potency, which will give you more attack power. Now this part right here is what changes up spells. Whenever you have a spell, if you add a random items to it, it'll change what factor it is. Like if you notice now, it's called heal cast. Well, when it hits an enemy, it'll also deal heal damage to you. You don't have to have a great deal in these to be able to oops, sorry wrong button to be able to get them to their max level or at least some of them you don't two of them brings it up to the level 50 healing if you notice below heal cash not in a potency three seventy five four ninety nine so uh, these are really more efficient than healing spells so I always suggest keeping at least one of these on you but there's less of them because you only get three cast. Now you can change it to different things. This chains the attack. Tri cast chains it three times. There's dual cast, tri cast, um, quad cast, and quint cast. Pretty much it just ups it one time. Each one. Venom cast adds poison to the effect. I've never really tested this one to know if it's any good, but I'll play around with it here soon. Just to let you guys know. Poison has never been one of my things in RPGs for some reason. I don't have a lot of ingredients to show you all the things you can do with it, but the same with these food or food type ingredients you can add levels of spells to. Or um, items from monsters. I'm trying to see if there's anything in here nope, that I don't have. Okay, here's one that's really nice. Now, Xpericast is my favorite one, because if you get a level 96 or 99 EXP bonus, you can make 17,000 EXP per cast of that spell. So just remember that. I mean, that's of course after raising the potency a little bit, but... If you get 8 rare coins, you can make a level 96. You can cap it out at 99 with nine but that's kind of a waste of a rare coin because 
the level's a bit higher than that, so there's no point in using it, so you'll be losing some levels for your next cast. But, that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, there's... I'll go into, like, greater depth on how to make certain spells and what they do later, like quint cast and stuff like that. Uh, fail cast. Even the infinity cast, which... I won't be able to do too much later on, but I could at least tell you about it. Infinity cast pretty much is what it sounds like. You can make a spell permanent by placing so much into it. But one more thing to tell you on the beginner's note of this. Avoid magic next to party members. It does hurt your friends. Oh, well maybe there is one more thing. Your magic flash you see up there below the elementsy words. Um, once you get more of those, you have more slots for magic. Anyways, that's all I wanted to cover today. And, uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you all have a lovely day.